What's up guys, we're back on the 54. New to the channel, taking 2006 Envoy chassis, putting a 54 body on it. This video, we're gonna get the rad done, trim the grill, get the rad fully mounted, the whole front end done and wrapped up. Let's get after it. All right, we're back on the 54. The first step I'm gonna do is trim the grill bars, get this rad position exactly where I want it, and then I'll start building the bottom supports off that. Okay, I got the grill trimmed back. The rad's sitting exactly where I want it right now. Oops. There's enough room. Let's see if I get a picture of that between the frame and the fans. Decent amount of clearance. So I'm gonna take the grill back out and try to leave, try to make it so the rad does not move at all. And then I'll come from underneath and build the bottom mounts first. Okay, I've had some ideas kicking around my head. This is where I'm going with it so far. I had the grill on when I made these. Just got them tacked together for now. I'm gonna come down on an angle like this, and then the grill I have marked out. The grill I have marked out ends about there. The fenders end about there. So after the grill, it'll come out and eventually tie into the bumper. And then I'm thinking I'll go kind of across. And then I've kept the factory Envoy rad mounts. I'm thinking with that bar across, I just go like that. Obviously chop them up a little bit and tie into that bar across. I got my mock-up done for here. They're just held in at some 10 mils. I'll probably end up welding the structure right to the frame, make it part of the frame. We're gonna come across with another one by two. And then I'm going to trim up this mount and cut it right along here, weld it on the back side and it will hold the rad in place. Uh, I just put the grill back on, it does still fit and clears that fine. Pretty happy with how it turns out so far. Again, I'll build the bumper beams off that and then I might build some type of supports, make more fender supports as we go. Let's get those rad mounts in first, get the rad fully mounted, and then we'll fully weld the thing. I got it welded up. It's still held in just by the 10 mils. I don't wanna weld it to the frame until my bumper's in and all those bumper brackets are made. But overall, super pumped with it. We got the uh, original rad supports there. Looks pretty good, we'll pop the rad in and then we're gonna start making a top mount to hold the rad. Okay, we got a game plan. I took this block off the uh, original core support of the Envoy. So this is actually shaped for the rad. Originally it was like that, but I'm gonna reverse it. I'm gonna put the support on the back side. Um, it's gonna be probably square tubing. 
Runner on the back, build a bracket to weld from there to there. Keep the rad down in place. And then this bar, I'm not gonna weld in, I'll bolt it in to each side of the uh, fender mounts just so it's really easy to get the rad out if I ever have to. So otherwise, I would pull fenders and, or at least move the fenders out and things I don't wanna do if it's just a rad replacement. So if I could unbolt the bar and swing it out of the way, then I'll be good to go. So we're gonna start building this crossbar. This is just a piece of scrap and it's a little too short. So I got that bar cut. You can see it's bolted in there. Let's see if you can see from there. Yeah, so it's bolted across. Now all I gotta do is make something come off these metal tabs, weld it back to the bar, and then rad will be mounted. Here we have it, the whole rad's mounted. All I did is I took some square tubing, welded it to a crossbar, and then drilled some holes in it and those pegs in there. Just threw a tack on there for now. So this bar will be removable if I take the rat out. So I didn't film anything because the camera's gonna die here right away, but <clears throat> yeah, that's a wrap for the rad support. I was uh I was a bit worried on it, but uh, I'm glad it came out. Look, it came in, got the front bumper in. So I think first things first, throw the grill back on, start figuring out exactly where I want the bumper, and then we'll start making some mounts, again, using that square tubing. Okay, I made up this block. The bumper is level uh, that way and as far as pitch. Thing is I can't get a good measurement on it. These fenders are whatever, 70 plus years old. This one's got damage on it that I haven't repaired yet. So if I set it up where I think it's straight, I'm like two and a half inches from fender to bumper there. Here I'm like three inches. Can't get it straight. So I think I'm gonna leave the bumper off until the body is totally finalized and nice and strong and not moving anywhere and I repair that fender. So I did forget about these original braces in the fender and they run from inside and they ran to the old core support. It makes them super strong and it will take the flex out of the fender like right now. I can't, can't get a measurement off that. So I'm gonna work on tying those in. I kind of have this one set in here roughly. It's gonna run into my square tubing, which is really nice. I'll just weld it right to that and then chop off the, uh, the part that was to the old core support. So I'm gonna start tackling that before I start tackling the bumper. So I got that brace bolted in, and it actually lines up with the hole that I'm using for my fender mount. So it'll work out pretty good. It's gonna raise the fender, I guess the thickness of this piece, but we'll, uh, we'll re recheck the gaps after I install it. So I'm just gonna slice it along here and uh, reinstall the fender. Put the driver's side brace in and then mount it right up how it should. Let's see how solid this side is. A little bit of flex still. I still want to do something off this rad support to the bottom and it'll really make it solid. Let's just see how much difference there is. Much better with the brace. So we'll do the same on the passenger side and we'll continue on.
Got both those braces in. It's way better measurement wise for the bumper. It's a lot closer. I am realizing how bad that fender damage actually is. I thought it was just kind of rusted in the bottom, but the whole thing's kind of folded in. I'm gonna take a look. You can see that right around here. It starts folding in and it actually pushes this part out and sucks this part in. So it's gonna take a lot of straightening to get it nice and flat like that side. I don't want to necessarily put a lot of time into fixing that until I really dig out all this Bondo. I could see from the inside it's got a nice crease that I guess someone just pink Bondoed all over it. But I'm not going to do that until I'm close to ready for epoxy and then I'll strip everything down to bare metal. So I think that's it for the front bumper. I don't think I want to mount it until the body is actually in a lot better shape. So the rad sport's done, solid, welded. Still need to weld the frame. The top crossbar is done. Everything's done for the rad. It was a big issue. Uh, I still, you know, got to mount the trans cooler and power steering cooler, figure out hoses and stuff, but the actual physical parts is mounted. Um, we're gonna wrap up the video here for that. Next video will be a bigger one. I think we're gonna get the dash and hopefully my box parts will be in and we'll start working on that. So make sure you come back for that. Like, subscribe. Thanks guys.